This video contains bleeped swearing and is not suitable for children or anyone who is offended by bleeped swearing. And it is also probably not suitable for anybody without a sense of humour. Alright, YouTuber David Harry here. Now, can you see the microphone in the shot? If not, I will give you a hint. It's up there. But check this out with the click of my fingers. It's gone. And then with another click of my fingers, it's back. But check this out. It's gone. It's back. It's gone. It's back. And I'm just a crazy motherfucker. Oh, yeah. So the way that we do this is really straightforward. Now, I'm going to be doing this in DaVinci Resolve. However, most NLEs will have the functionality within them to do this. So what we need to do is have our first shot, which is our main shot, which is the person talking with the microphone in the frame. This is an example of the frame with the microphone in it with me talking. And then we have a second shot, which we call a clean plate, which has got the microphone removed from the shot. This is now the clean plate with the microphone not in the shot, because it's over there. And then what we do, we just take the clean plate shot place it above the track which has got the dialogue in and then we will use a crop tool just to crop the corner of the clean plate and use it as a mask over the microphone track. So in DaVinci Resolve, I've got my crop tool selected here. You just get whatever crop tool is in your NLE. And what we're going to do is just reduce this frame down here as a crop so we can see the microphone underneath it. So the first thing I'm going to do is come across this way, just past the microphone and then come down just underneath the microphone. And so now what we have got is our clean plate shot cropped in the corner and it is masking the microphone. This should now be the frame with the mask on it and the microphone is gone. Now, of course, you could draw an elaborate mask around the microphone. However, for this particular example, just the corner of the frame was required. It is also worth noting that you only need to use a couple of seconds of the clean plate mask shot, which you then just copy, paste and duplicate across any section of the main video that you need to mask the microphone from. And using a still for the clean plate and the mask shot will not work. And the reason why because the still will not have any movement in it. The video shot for the clean plate and mask will have some form of video noise going on, which will match the rest of the video noise in the rest of the shot. Okay, so with that little tutorial done and dusted, showing you how to remove the microphone from the frame, there are now a few things to consider to do this type of shot. So you have to have your camera locked off. It cannot move whatsoever during this type of edit. I mean, if you're like mad clever and stuff and you're cool at tracking and things like that, yeah, you could do that, like movements and stuff, but not for this type of shot, it'd be mad. And on top of that, what you would want to do also as well is keep your focus on the subject that's talking. So whether you're in the frame for the clean frame and stuff like that or not, not. Make sure that the focus is locked off. In this particular instance, I didn't. I stayed in the frame. And that's only because my camera is good at staying on focus with the face and stuff like that. So it wouldn't have mattered if I was like in or out of the frame with a locked focus. However, it's much easier to lock the focus for this. On top of that, you cannot have the light change whatsoever. So basically fix your exposure and make sure that your lighting doesn't change either. So realistically, don't have windows with curtains open and stuff like that or the light will change anyway so they're like the basic things there now get into what you can't do with something like this you obviously can't have motion on the side of the frame where the actual mask is occurring or where you've removed the mic from the shot and here's why because as we can see here you can see both of my hands but if I do this whoa you can see this one this one's disappeared it's shaking up there in fact I'm giving you two fingers here and you can't even see it and for anybody who's watched this video thinking well David why would you want to do this sometimes you're in an environment where you want to have the microphone a lot closer to you because you're in a bedroom like I am or you're just in a reverby environment and the closer the microphone gets to your voice the better it's going to be at picking your voice up and rejecting the background and stuff like that that's the main reason for getting the microphone this close for anybody who was wondering why you would want to do something 
stupid like this. Anyways, if you've liked the video, give it a thumbs up because according to all those big knobhead YouTubers, it helps with the algorithm and helps get your video to climb up the rankings and all that kind of crazy shit. And if you found the video entertaining or if indeed you took something away from it, which is enriching your knowledge of audio and video, then do me a big solid and I'm not talking about taking a shit on me, but click on that bell notification icon down the bottom there for a notification of future similar videos to this one. And finally, the last boring thing to say is, I'm David Harry, thank you very much for watching this video, take care and goodbye now, me fucking hands disappeared.